What's so involving you didn't even hear the door open? Oh, hi, Michael. Uh, it's just an old book. I, I got it at the library here in the convent. What happened to the computer? Oh, well, books are my, more my style. And uh, I'm just a novice on that thing, so I don't get the full benefit of it anyway. Practice will take care of that. Why don't you give it another shot? See if you can't get into it. Why don't you just give it back to the doctor, okay? Enough with modern technology. Enough. I'm just much more rooted in the past. Hey, you want a, a donut with your coffee? Mm, no. Bagel? I'm good. Do you know if you talk into this microphone that the words will come up on the screen, you don't have to type it in? I'm kidding. Oh. I mean, it doesn't really work for what we're doing today, but if you want to write a letter... Or begin the great American novel. <laughs> yeah, or if you just want to get into one of those chat rooms or something. I mean, it's great. Freeze up your hands and you don't have to hey, be a good speller. chat rooms? Did you say chat rooms? Don't tell me you're on the internet. Don't blame me. It's your fault. <laughs> okay, right. So, what do you have here? Well, yeah, take a look. Wow, you changed the design already. Yeah. Looks great. Thanks. Well, I figured that if you're going to build a memorial wing, that it should have a quality of the person that it's being named after, right? So your mom was strong, but at the same time, she had real softness about her, you know? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Ready to work? Grateful that you're helping us out with this well, lovely interview. Well, I'm just so glad you. you asked me. I love doing it for Vanessa. Yeah. You know, I was thinking on the way over in the car, and it made me feel a little sorry for myself, that all my good friends are gone. I mean, Maureen and Vanessa and Alex. Whenever I felt sorry for myself, um, Alex would come over and we'd eat uh, Chinese food mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'd watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous and then we'd fantasize about Prince Charming. Now Vanessa never had to do that because she had her own <laughs> Prince Charming, didn't she? But we'd, we'd sort of expect, you know, the prince to come up on his white horse and carry us off and I remember Alex always wanted one of these. Oh. <laughs> you want to get that? Yeah, I'll get it. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, what are you doing here? I just, I wasn't expecting to see you. I right. invited him. How you doing, all right? Good, how are you? Come on in. I want to include him on all phases of the project from now on. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah, you don't have a problem with that, do you? I mean, it's okay with you, right? Who's your favorite? Oh, well, uh, I guess I'd have to say Browning, Robert Browning. My husband and I used to read Browning to each other all the time. Never the time and place and the loved one all together. So he loved the stuff as much as you did? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Careful. Yep. But I just dragged him kicking and screaming into some parts of my world. And he wound up saying that he... Easy, easy, easy. He loved it. That's what he said. Mm. You miss him, huh? Yeah. Yeah, all the words in the English language couldn't say how much I miss him. And no poet could do it justice either. But you know what? Ow! Sorry. You're my physical therapist, so it's not your job to console me. Maybe. That's, that's all I can do. Okay. Maybe it's not my job, but if you're going to get better at all, it'll happen much faster if you're not so sad. Yeah, well, you don't always get to choose how you feel. That's where you and I part company then, I guess. The way I see it is you get to make a choice about almost everything that happens in your life. You know what they say about making lemonade from lemons? It's all in how you look at it. <laughs> you know what I really hate? People who are eternally optimistic, very cheery. Then we're a perfect match. I hate pessimists. <laughs> I made you laugh. You're impossible. Are you kidding? I haven't even started with you yet. Come on. No. Yeah? No. I don't want to do any more physical therapy today. What is the matter with you, Ace? I thought you were made of stronger stuff. I'm made of plenty strong stuff, but I'm just having a bad day. Is that allowed? Not really. 
You know what I think might help? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. I don't think you should give up on the computer thing yet. Wait a minute. I, I told you I'm just not very good at it. And as a matter of fact, yesterday I, I got into a poetry chat room and, and there just wasn't anybody there. And that's it? Well, what do you want from me? I got online and there was nobody in it or on it or whatever you say. But what you're telling me is that when I left you yesterday, you actually got into this thing. I told you I was going to boot it up, didn't I? And man, do I hate that lingo they use. Well, for someone who hates the lingo, it seems to me you got right into it. It was just by accident. I just stumbled onto it. That's all. A chat room for poetry lovers? Yeah. There was nobody on it. Well, maybe it was a slow night. Slow? It was dead. There was not a single soul in all of cyberspace who was interested in chatting about poetry. I can't believe that. Why don't you try again? Maybe maybe there's someone on it today. Hey, look, I don't, I, I don't think I could find my way back there. I really don't, okay? If you did it once, you can do it again. Oh, boy, you are a pain. Anybody ever tell you that? A few people, like everyone I ever met. Uh-huh. Besides, there's something very bizarre about talking about poetry, especially poetry that was written over a hundred years ago on some high-tech mechanical wizard brain. I mean, it's just downright incongruous, if not obscene. Hey, you watch your mouth. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And don't hold your breath. To get the new wing to complement the existing structure. No, but structure. at the same time, it should be distinct because certainly Vanessa was never one to blend in. No, well, that, that's true. I mean, <laughs> even when she wasn't around, you could feel her, you could sense her. So in your building, we should be able to feel her and sense her, don't you think? That's exactly what I'm going to try to do, yeah. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could get sunlight coming that, that sort of would reflect and be seen for thousands of miles and... Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, maybe like a glass dome or... Well, well, what about a pyramid? Yeah, a glass pyramid. Yeah. That could work. That, that's a good idea, Lillian. Oh, that's a great idea. Well, let's see what it looks like on the computer. Oh, yeah. You know, Lillian really knew my mother, her likes and her dislikes. She's the perfect person for this. So we have a 15-foot glass pyramid yeah. right over the atrium. Natural source of sunlight. That just sounds perfect, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Now all we have to do is get the hospital board to approve it and the city and county agencies to sign off on it. Well, I'll certainly talk to Charles Grant. Well, that'd be a big help. This really is going to be wonderful. What a job you've done. Thanks. Are those two getting back together? Well, we're working on it. No sense in giving up on true love unless you have to, right? Oh, you're so right. I wish them luck. Yeah, me too. You know, you're like a rose. Very beautiful. I have to watch out for the thorns and not mind a few scratches. What about you? Do you mind the scratches? Thank you. Sure. I'm going to say goodbye to you both now. Okay. I have to get back to work. Oh, I'm well, sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Thanks for goodbye, coming sweetie. by. Mm, thank Appreciate you for having it. me. I loved it. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Well, we can finish this up with, with Matt. No, right. I think we've done enough for one day, really. Well, we just started. Dinah, let's give Matt his living room back. All right. All right. I'll give you two buzz when I come up with some more stuff. Okay. Good work. Good All right. Work. You too. We'll okay. see ya. Yeah. Take care. All right, you too. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, do you want to lift? What the hell is wrong with me? I feel lonelier with people than when I'm really alone. You know, the more I look at this little town, the more it reminds me of Springfield. Yeah? Right here, Bridget's boarding house. It does sort of look like it. Mm-hmm. And there's the diner. 
on Fifth Street. Mm -hmm. But where is Courtney Avenue? Mm, right around here, with the colored lights. And right there, right there is where we are. I love that little place. I'm glad. He made it for us. Just for us. Nobody else can come here. That's right. Thank you, Matt. Well, thank you for being here with me, Vanessa. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. <laughs> I have to go. No protesting, dearest. Hardly kisses, even. Don't we both know how it ends? How the greenest leaf turns searest, bluest outbreak, blankest heaven. Lovers, friends. You would build a mansion. I would weave a bower. Love's corpse lies quiet. Only love's ghost plays truant. I, dead loves are the potent. Build we no mansion, weave we no tent. You're adrift on the world wide web. You're just like a little old fly caught in it. Can't find your way back into the poetry chat room. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that? Gotcha. Poetry groups. Okay. Now. Just need to find that voice activator key, and I remember you're right there. <sighs> knock, knock. Anybody here? Anybody want to chat? Hello? Oh, well. I don't know why I'm disappointed. I knew no one would be there. Okay, let's see what we got. Gardening. I don't think so. Women's studies, no. Sailing. Huh. Maybe I'll get shipwrecked again. Poetry. Now, how do you talk about poetry? I mean, poetry is something you read with somebody you love. I... Oh, what the hell. Let's give it a shot. Popular website, one person. Okay. Hello, is anybody out there? <laughs> well, I'll be. There is somebody there. There's somebody there and I don't know what to do next. Ay, ay, ay. All right! No, no, it's not all right. Come here, I've forgotten how to turn off the voice activator thing. Oh, Can you do it? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Where? It's two keys. It's right there. Yep, nope. Right there. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I just didn't know what to do next. You just have to let it happen. And you, you have to go with the flow. It's like in, it's like when you were a teenager and all the at a dance and all the girls are on one side and all the boys are on the other side. And nobody knows what to do. And but it happens anyway. I mean, it happens. I don't know whether that's a a male or a female though. But, but you, you just introduce yourself. But don't use your real name because you don't know what kind of person it would be. So use an alias. Oh, well, someone used to call me Contessa. That's kind of a mouthful. I wasn't going to use it. But I'll use Tess. I'll be Tess, okay? 
You can go get him, Tess. Don't be shy. Are, are you going to type or are you going to talk into it? No, I can't type well enough. I'm going to talk. Go get him. Have fun. Yes. Are you interested in poetry? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I like Robert Browning. Really? I love Browning. Great. What's your name? Tess, what's yours? Robert. My name's Robert. Nice to meet you, Tess. Yep. Okay. No, I, I, I'll, I'll be right there. Tess, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to sign off. Uh, you come here often? <laughs> no, I've never talked to anyone before. Yeah, me neither. Well, um, I'd like to talk to you again sometime. I'd like that. Bye, Robert. <laughs>